11.30, Savannah and I are at a campsite still. I don't know if you can see it, but it's raining pretty good outside, and it's going to stop at about noon. So I'm just going to hang out here and read in the campground uh, cafeteria. And once it stops raining, get back to it, get into Croatia. It's two o'clock. Savannah and I just left the campsite. Uh, it was a good thing we had the campsite because it rained. Basically, when I got in the tent last night until right now, until about 1.30. So if I was in my tent camping somewhere, I would have been bunkered down in there all day. But with the campground, they had a restaurant. I was able to get breakfast and lunch and relax. Yeah, so I was able to get a good meal and, and uh, relax a little bit inside, not be stuck in the tent. But now we are probably two and a half, maybe three hours from the Croatian border. Normally, I would like a full day for a border crossing, just so you never know how long it's gonna take. But this is an EU border crossing, so it should be pretty easy. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Slovenia and headed towards Croatia. We have made it to Croatia, the motherland. Easy, easy border crossing. So it's 6 30 right now, and Sav and I just left this main road right there and we're walking on this back path surrounded by forest we're gonna find a place to sleep we have about two hours of daylight left so I could keep walking and search somewhere but up ahead there's a city and some villages and I'm just gonna call it a night I'm just gonna call it a day uh, it was a short day we didn't get started until later because of the rain, so it's like a half day. But we're in Croatia, that's the big thing, another big hurdle. Uh, I'm excited to be here. This is where my father's heritage is from. This is where my grandfather is from. We still have family on the island of Kirk. So I'm to get there and see them. Uh, this is like Ireland, how Ireland was for me, where I have a lot of cousins. So it's really cool to be here, um, you know, uh, for the World Cup, we're rooting for Croatia and Uruguay, where I have family. And I was in Uruguay, and I've been to Ireland a few times, but this is my first time in Croatia. Uh, so I'm back in, uh, I'm in the motherland, the Tersic motherland, so this is pretty cool. Uh, looking forward to seeing uh, all the beauty here. Heard it's an untapped gem of the Mediterranean. And now, uh, I'm gonna find a place to sleep. It's the end of the first day in Croatia and we are not on a nice grassy knoll. Uh, we're kind of on the street. There's a weird, uh, it's not like a dump, but there's a bunch of uh, stones and uh, bricks and stuff piled up back there. And so the, this road that we're on is closed off. It's as good a place as any uh, to call tonight. The city is pretty close, so if we walked any further, it would be a really difficult time finding a place to sleep. 
but we're only a couple hours into Croatia. It's been nice so far. Uh, narrow roads, not uh, no shoulder, and we're not on a bike path, which is not ideal. Uh, hopefully that changes as we get to the coast, we'll see. Uh, yeah, it's nice. It's really nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah, looking forward to seeing what's up ahead, um, but beautiful night tonight, just gonna enjoy it.